Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Let me show you how to make this Flamingo Tropical Swag on a five gallon paint stick. We will prepare the paint stick with Chanel stems and add deco mesh to create a tropical design. This swag is beginner friendly and you will just love the results. Let's get started and craft this fun Flamingo Swag together. And we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna divide it two lengths of our yardstick. And we're gonna visually divide it into thirds and we're gonna take it at that third mark and we're gonna wrap it around the narrowest part of the paint stick. We're gonna give it just a good couple twists right there at the base of the paint stick. And then we're left with a short and a long piece. And we're gonna take our long piece of wire and we're gonna wrap it around three times. So we go one, two, and three. And now we're gonna take our short piece in the opposite direction and we're gonna go around three times. There's one, two, and three. And we're gonna take both wires and we're gonna give it a couple twists right there in the center. And we're left with a short piece and a long piece. And now we're gonna twist them into one long continuous piece. And then we're gonna begin a loop. We're gonna make a nice sturdy loop to hang as a little hanger. So if you don't have your own hangers that you bought, your own hardware, this is how you can make your own. All right. So now we have one continuous loop. We're gonna go sideways with this. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this crisscrossed in the center. We're just gonna bring it under. And now we're gonna twist all three of these together at the base there. And we're gonna get all of those twisted together here. Okay. So now we're left with this and this big loop here. So now we're gonna make the big loop into one, one piece. So we're just gonna keep twisting it around and we're gonna make one piece of wire. And it's gonna be a lot easier if you have regular wire. This is that floral wire, so it's kinda a little waxy, harder to work with, but it's doing the trick. So now we're left with one piece of wire. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop, the size that you want to hang your swag. And I think that's gonna be just fine. About, I would say that's about a half an inch. And now we're gonna take this part and we're just gonna twist. We're gonna twist it around and we're gonna just twist our loop. We're gonna give our loop a couple twists. One, I already twisted it earlier, so that, I would say that's a good two twists on there, right there. And now we have this extra wire and we're gonna wrap the extra wire around the paint stick. And we're just gonna go ahead and tuck in this last little part and anywhere that you can get it to tuck into. If you wanna get a dab of hot glue, but I, I, I just like to try to get it under. See how we've got it just like that. And it's just tucked under there. And then we have this little loop here to hang your swag when you're finished. And that's just a little makeshift um, way to do it. I just wanted to give you the option if you don't have any hardware and hangers that you wanna put on yourself, it's just an easy way to do it. And it, this is floral wire, like I talked about before. It's gonna be a lot easier with some regular wire. I'm gonna take my next pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go about two and a half 
inches in, and that's gonna be about right below the base of our hanger there. So I'm just gonna use that as a guide. It doesn't have to be exact, and we're gonna do another set of doubles. And I'm coming on the other side, and we're just giving it a good couple twists. And we've connected two sets of doubles, and we're gonna do that same thing, and now we have the ruler, which is, it's nice to put that hanger on the other side so you you have that to look at. And we're gonna do a next set of doubles. And then we're gonna do two singles and we're gonna go right there in the center of the two doubles. And this one's gonna come up the center of the paint stick, not on the sides. So we're gonna do two in the center, and this is gonna go in the center as well. All right, so we have three sets of doubles and two sets of singles. And I'm gonna get my hot glue gun, warm it up, and on this bottom one, I am going to put some hot glue right there on that bottom Chanel stem. And I'm going to get a piece of felt and my silicone fingertip. And we're just going to place that right over that set of Chanel stems just to give it an extra reinforcement. This is the bottom of our swag and we want it nice and sturdy. So we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put that aside. And that is the prep of our paint stick with our hanger on the back. So we are all ready to begin our swag design. I'm gonna start with a tan Poly Pro mesh ribbon. We're gonna start cutting our tan Deco mesh into 23 inch strips. And we're gonna set each of these off to the side and we're gonna make a total of eight. We're gonna need eight of these at 23 inches. So I have my eight pieces of the tan deco mesh cut at 23 inches and we're going to begin attaching those to our five gallon paint stick. So we're going to start our first cruffle and I'm going to use a chip clip and what we're going to do is we're going to go curl side up and I'm going to use a weight to hold one side while I'm doing the first cruffle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end, tuck it, tuck the ends in, and I'm gonna curl it three times. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna put my chip clip on this side, and then I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna tuck that in, get it ready to curl, and I'm gonna go one, two, Three. And you're going to have this big space in the middle here, which is what we want because we're doing what we call a cruffle, which is a combination of these curls and a ruffle. So now we're going to ruffle it in the center and we're just going to pinch and grab till we get to the other side. And we're going to take our clip off and we're going to pinch and we have this big cruffle here and the two the top part has the curled ends and the bottom part is flat. And we wanna always place our cruffle with the flat side down. So we're gonna start from the bottom and we're gonna work our way up to the top. And we're gonna start with the two doubles on the sides and we're just gonna place our first cruffle right there in our zip tie and we're gonna give it a couple tight twists. And that is our first cruffle. And we're gonna do that same thing and we're gonna put it on the next set. And we're just gonna follow the same pattern with all eight pieces of our 23 inch tan deco mesh. So we're gonna tuck in the ends, 
we're gonna go one, two, three. Use our chip clip, hold it. We're gonna flip it around, do that same thing. Tuck in the ends, one, two, three. And we're gonna pinch and ruffle it towards the other side. It's just a pinch and a grab. We have a flat side and a curled side. And we're gonna place the next cruffle on that next double Chanel stems and twist it. And now we have the two cruffles that are on the sides here. And we're gonna keep doing that same thing, but I wanna show you something that's gonna be a little bit different when we come to the one that's right there in the center. And for that one, we wanna make sure that we place it. We wanna place it horizontally. So we're going tuck, one, two, three. And we're coming to the other side and we're tucking, one, two, three. And we're pinching and grabbing to the other side. So for this next cruffle, we have flat side. We want the flat side to go horizontal, horizontal with our yardstick. And that way it's gonna help give this yardstick full coverage when we come all the way through. The other two on the sides are gonna fluff and kind of do their thing and wrap around the sides. But these, we don't wanna go vertical. We wanna stay horizontal with these. And I'm placing that right there on the center and we're twisting it. And that one you see, you have that one towards the center and the other two are off to the side. So you see how that's starting to give our yardstick the coverage. So I'm gonna keep continuing with my cruffles and we're gonna go through each of all stems and we're gonna put a cruffle in each set. We're gonna tuck one, two, three, three, and you can always just keep a weight on the other side so it doesn't flip towards you. And there we have another one, flat side. And we're gonna go ahead and place on the sides now. And I'm just gonna keep adding a cruffle to each of my Chanel stems until I get all of the eight attached. So I've placed all of our 23 inch cruffles on our yardstick in each set of those Chanel stems and look at how beautiful our base is turning out. So we're gonna keep moving on and adding some more curled bundles to this design. And now we're gonna take our blue here and we're gonna make 16 of these and we're gonna cut these at 10 inches. Now I'm gonna take my pink and I'm gonna go ahead and cut eight of these. And these are gonna be cut in 12 inch strips. So my blue, I did 16 and 10. And the pink, I'm gonna do eight at 12 inches. So I have all my mesh cut, and now I'm gonna take two blue and one pink. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just curl, make one big curl with our blue on just a continuous curl like that. And then we're gonna take our a big clip and we're just gonna hold it right there in the center. We're gonna do the same thing with the next blue we're gonna make one big curl and we're going to crisscross it like that. And we're gonna use a big chip clip to hold it in the center. 
And now we're gonna take our 12 inch pink and we're gonna do a big continuous roll. And now we're gonna put that one right in the center. So we have the crisscross with the blue and the pink is right there in the center. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one set of these curled ribbon right there in our Chanel stem. And we're going, at this point actually, we can untwist our Chanel stem on the tan because it already has the memory in there. It's not gonna come unraveled. And now we can place that in and that way we can get it closest to the bottom of our design as possible. And we give it a couple good twists and we have our first colorful bundle that we've placed in our Chanel stem that's off to the side of our design here. So we're gonna place one of those bundles in each of our Chanel stems. And we're gonna do that again. We'll place another one on the other side. And we're going to roll it into a continuous roll here. There we go. And another continuous roll. If you do have a bow maker, you can always use a bow dabra as well. And you can either use your chip clip or you can just stick it right like that and do your crisscross. And you can have it hold you hold it for you while you're making your design as well. So you do have options if you don't have the bow maker. Chip clips work just as good. So we have our crisscross there and this one goes straight across. And we just grab our bundle and now we're going to, I'm gonna untwist my Chanel stems on the tan here because I want it to sink into my design as deep as possible here. There we go. And now I go ahead and place that next bundle and give it a couple twists. And now we have our next little curled bundle that's attached in our design here. And look at how pretty that is coming along. So I'm gonna keep making more bundles and we're gonna be attaching to every one of our Chanel stems. And I'm gonna keep going. And look at our gorgeous swag after we put those curled ribbon bundles in there. And isn't that gorgeous? We're gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna create some ribbon bundles. So what I've done is I found this beautiful ribbon. I found this today at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was just gonna be perfect in this design. And I've already attached two of our ribbon bundles that we're gonna do. And we're gonna attach one of these bundles and they have three loops in each bundle and we're gonna attach one to each of our Chanel stems. So I have two attached already and you can see how pretty this is. This is a one-sided ribbon. I am gonna use my bow maker. I, I'm just not very good at doing the bows in my hand. Um, if you're comfortable doing it that way, then by all means, do it that way, but I'm gonna use my handy dandy bow dabra and I have my ribbon cut in 32 inches. So we're gonna start by taking our first one. For this one, you do not have to dovetail your ends. We're gonna go in just about a half an inch to an inch and we're gonna give that a pinch. And the less, the less you go in, the better at the end because 
Otherwise, you might have to trim those a little bit. So just try to go in as little as you can, just to give you a, enough edge there that you can um, put it in the chenille stem. So I'm gonna flip this over since it's one-sided ribbon and we're gonna make our first loop. And we're gonna do about 10 inches. Now you don't have to measure, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you could just flip it over and just try to guesstimate thirds. Um, but I just, I used my measurement from here to here and I did my 10 inches there, my first loop. And I'm gonna flip this over now onto the other side because we're gonna do our next loop and this is a, only a one-sided ribbon. If it was two-sided, you wouldn't have to do this extra twist and flip. So now I'm gonna guesstimate, or I'm not guesstimating, I'm actually measuring uh, my 10 inches and I'm gonna bring it over and make that second loop. And I'm gonna bring this right around to the end. You don't have to measure this last one because it is our last one. We're gonna flip it again because it's our one-sided, we're gonna come right to that end there, just about a half an inch in, and we're gonna make that last third loop. So we have three loops here. And when you have it on your Bodabra, you can always um, adjust things if you want. You can pull you know, your ribbon a little bit and get everything even uh, adjusted the way that you want. So that's gonna work for that. So now I'm just going to come and bring it up and I have this one bundle here in my hand and it has three loops. And we're gonna attach one of these to each of our Chanel stem sections. So I have the two attached here to the sides and now I'm gonna find that one that goes straight down the middle. And I am gonna untwist a couple twists here because I want my ribbon to go deep into my design and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple twists and we can go ahead and adjust our loops and we'll come back and finish off these Chanel stems when we're done putting all of our, our ribbon bundles. So that completes three of our three loop ribbon bundles and our ribbons cut in 32 inch sections and it's just for me, it's easier um, to do my Bodabra. Some people will, can do their, hold it, measure out their 10, make their loop. You know, I'm just not very good. Let me see if I can try it. Let me try it with you and see if I can do it. See, this is the part where I just start, I have a hard time holding everything. But you can do it that way too. See, oh, okay, maybe I can do it. I'm sure I can. I'm just gotta practice it a little bit more. Oh, there we go, see, I did it. I did it, we're doing it together, look at that. Okay, see, so you don't need the Bodabra. I did my first one holding it without using my ribbon maker. And I'm going to go ahead and untwist this one at least one or two times. And we're just gonna slide that triple loop ribbon bundle right there on top in the middle of that Chanel stem and we're gonna give it a couple twists. And we're gonna go and do the same thing. We cut eight of them and we're gonna attach them to each of our Chanel stems. And now I'm gonna keep moving and I'll be right back. We'll do another one on our Bodabra. And we'll do our 10 inch loops. And flip that around. Come in our 10 inch loops. And this is just a really fun bow to do. It it's a little bit different than the other ones, and I just think it just gives it a little character, a little flair, and I think it's really pretty to do, and it just is kind of switch it up from your ribbon uh, routine. So I have another little bundle here, and I'm just going to bring those ends out because I don't, I want to be right at the 
I want to be right. See how it's just barely like a half an inch, quarter inch right there? And the same on this side. That way you won't see those little ends. So I'm going to bring this in the side here. And I untwisted it one time. And then I'm going to get my bundle in there and give it a couple twists. And this has a, just a slight wire, so it's so pretty, you can form it. And look at how gorgeous that's turning out, just adding those little triple ribbon bundles to our swag, and I am loving this design. So I've got three more to add, and we'll keep going. So we have our swag complete with our triple loop ribbon bundles and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going to finish off the Chanel stems and we're going to make sure everything's twisted at least a quarter of an inch or so and we're going to clip it off and then we're just going to bend that tip of the Chanel stem towards the center and we're going to go ahead and finish off each of these bundles or each of our Chanel stems and you want to make sure that you they are twisted onto that you already have a good twist onto the ribbon before you clip them um, you just want to make sure they're twisted about three times or so and then you just go ahead and clip make sure you're not getting that ribbon and then pushing that tip down towards the bottom so I'm going to finish off the rest of these and we'll be right back so I finished off all the Chanel stems and I pushed the, uh, the pointy part, just pushed it straight down. And now we're left with this beautiful base of our swag that we're gonna create a design. We're going to go ahead and add the finishing touches. We're gonna put our cute flamingo right there on top. We're gonna attach it and we're gonna use this wire this uh, metal that's already connected to the design and we're just gonna make it easy, put some wire or Chanel stems on it and we're gonna attach it straight through to our, our five gallon paint stick. So I'm gonna go get a couple Chanel stems that are going to, um, if you happen to see them, they're gonna match. So I'll probably get maybe a tan Chanel stem here and we're going to go ahead and attach our flamingo. So I'm going to attach my sign and I'm going to make this really easy right now. And we're just going to attach a Chanel stem. And we'll do two of these just to give it that extra, extra security. And we are going to go ahead and attach this now. We're going to attach these two around our, our paint stick and we're gonna attach these two around the paint stick as well. So we're gonna bring it, we're gonna place it about where we want it in our design. And we're going to just go through the layers of mesh and ribbon and we're going to get our Chanel stem on each side of our paint stick. And so right now I have a piece of that Chanel stem. I'm gonna get the slack out and we're gonna make sure it's where we want it. And I like that placement. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip this over. And you see, I made it through all the layers and I'm right here on each side of the paint stick. And I'm gonna go ahead and secure that. And I'm gonna do that same thing. And you don't wanna to go too tight because you want it floating. That might be a little too tight there. I want it floating right on top. And let me loosen that up a little bit. Okay. 
I want it on there, but not too tight. See how that's better where it's just floating right on top. So I'm gonna do that same thing with that other set of Chanel stems. Let me see if I can't find them this way. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it that way. Okay, they're right here. And I'm just gonna start going down through all these layers and I can bring my hand up the other side and I can fill the paint stick and then I can grab them that way too. And I'm just getting each Chanel stem on each side of this paint stick. So I have the second set right here and I don't wanna to go too tight either. And we're gonna look and see if we like the placement before. All right, and then we're gonna just get all those little curled bundles and ribbon and everything the way that you want it around your flamingo. So if you like the placement of your sign, then you go ahead and just trying to move it down a little bit, I think. All right, so then we're just gonna take these two and we're just gonna twist those two together. We're gonna keep it nice and loose on there, floating right on top of our design. And look at how pretty this is coming along. So we've added our sign, and now we're gonna add a few more finishing touches. So we're gonna add a few special little touches, finishing touches, and I have these cute little tropical flowers, and it looks like they're barrettes, so we're just going to attach, just put that, clip it right onto any kind of um, roll that you want. And little, I put that on the little pink roll right there, and you can't even see the barrette part because it's clear. So we're just going to attach these wherever we think it's going to look cute, and you can move them around, take a couple times just to kind of figure it out. But I think I'm going to do something like that. I think that's cute. And then I want to go ahead and do something similar on the top. And look how fun these are. I got these from the 99 cent store. Look at that, I just went on each side of a little curled bundle with my, my hair clip. And then you could take them off if you want, move them around if you get tired of, of that look right there. And look at how cute. So we've got a couple little finishing touches in our design here. And we're gonna get this curled bundle up there and oh, Look at that. I love this. I think this is turning out so cute. I don't know why I have not done swag sooner. They are so fun. I love them. Okay, so now we're going to add, I got some greenery. And now I'm just taking my greenery that I found from the dollar store and we're just attaching a few little finishing greenery touches wherever that you see fit. If you can get it up on that board in between your um, your rolls of mesh, you can find a little Chanel stem and slide it right inside there. And you just gotta play around. You can always put your glue skillet, um, dip it in your glue, put some hot glue and just stick them in wherever you want. I like to play around a little bit. See, like right here, I feel a Chanel stem. Right here is one of our Chanel stems, and I like that placement, so I'm gonna tuck this right under that roll of Chanel stems, and that's gonna give me that little touch that I like right there. And I'm just gonna keep playing around and adding some more little greenery to 
finish up this design here and we're almost finished and look at how beautiful this is coming out and we just added the rest of the finishing touches on our tropical flamingo swag and i'm so glad that you came by and crafted with me today and that you'll subscribe like and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas thanks for watching holly hobbies from my heart to yours Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching. Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.